What is up everyone, Frank here with another YouTube video and in this one we are going to install CentOS 8 on our virtual box in Windows. So let's go ahead and get our CentOS ISO. So we'll do CentOS 8 download. Go to the website. Download Linux DBD ISO. Following mirrors in your region region should have the ISO images available. So, mm, mini money mini mo, I don't really care, I'll pick the first one anyways. So, let's go ahead and save our file. That'll be downloading, and as a reminder, I have slow internet, so yeah, we'll get back to this when it's ready to go. Alright, so our CentOS 8.1 image, or ISO finished downloading, so now we can go ahead and create a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and open our VirtualBox manager, hit new, and I'll just call this Cent, CentOS 8. Red hat, okay, let's hit next. Um, I'm going to give it 2... Four gigs of RAM. <laughs> Next, uh, create a virtual disk now. Hit create. BDI, that's fine. And let's go ahead and keep it dynamically allocated. Um, I'll give it 50 gigs for now. So hit create. Now we have it here. We want to go to settings. Um, storage. Here, you want to select the ISO we downloaded so to to drop down send to us open we hit OK and then we boot up our VM by hitting start up here so there we go all right so we want to hit install CentOS Linux 8 So give it some time to boot up. Starting installer, one moment. I'm probably gonna have background music playing on this. I don't know why I'm making my own beat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. So you want to select your language, in this case English. Oops, continue. Alright, so here is where you want to configure your networking, hit on, then hit done. Also, we want to see how we want our partition partitioning to be set up. I'll just hit leave it as automatic, but you can do custom if you want to get fancy with it or you have specific software that requires specific things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and encrypt my data. And you'll be asked to set up a password so hit done and I'll just enter a random password here okay save passphrase and we want to so I just want an environment a minimal installation basically or we'll actually I'll go ahead and hit a server with some debug tools um, so I'm looking for development tools okay yeah if you want the desktop version or you know you want the graphical user interface select the top one in this case I want nothing but terminal so I'll leave it as server I'll go ahead and hit done and I'll go ahead and begin the installation at this point you can set a root password in a user so let's go ahead and do that okay okay and yeah I'm using like a default password so you want to use definitely something that's secure 
go ahead and set a password again. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna hit done. I'm done again because again I chose a weak password. So I'll just go ahead and let the installer roll through. So the installation has gone ahead and finished. Um, instead of clicking the reboot button, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down so I can eject the disk from VirtualBox. So let me go ahead and go to, oops, let me escape out first. Okay, let me go ahead and go to machine, APCI shutdown, and it's powered off. So we wanna open up our VM settings again. Go to storage, and here we want to, well, here's the remove disk from virtual drive. And now it's empty, we hit OK. Boom. Let's hit start, and this will start our VM with CentOS 8 installed. Oops. There we go, yeah, boot from the kernel, the latest kernel we have installed. So it's booting up. At this point you can enter the password that you entered for your encryption. Tell me I forgot already. <laughs> okay, cool. I didn't forget. Just took a bit for some reason. Let's go ahead and log in as root and we are going to set our password again. Awesome. So now we are logged in and we have our CentOS 8.1 virtual machine ready to go. As always, you probably want to update your uh, packages so do a yum clean all and yum update dash y and that'll pull the latest updates or actually don't use yum use dnf i forget that on centos 8 uh red hat made the move from you know using yum to dnf but essentially the commands are very similar so yeah so as always, thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please hit a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. And thank you.